This Vickers Vimy is one of the world's greatest and most historically significant aviation artefacts. It's one of the only two surviving Vickers Vimy on the planet and it is very significant because brothers Ross and Keith Smith and their engineers Wally Shires and Jim Bennett were the first people to fly from England to Australia in 1919. The plane needs to be relocated because the area that it was in at the time was not approachable for, for passengers and visitors to South Australia and Adelaide. It was set in a, an old building from the 50s, which really didn't do the plane justice. So we took an opportunity during the terminal expansion to provide a new space for the Vimy where we could really showcase it and demonstrate just how important and significant the Vickers Vimy is. The trick was to make sure that it fit out of the memorial building and into the new building. The dimensions of the aircraft and its disassembled pieces had to be accurately measured and a lot of the planning was surrounded around the dimensions by which we could get it into the new building. The object parts had to be levelled and this was done by an encapsulation scaffold and then we undid the bolts that connected the outer wings to the fuselage and we moved them away on jockey wheels. And this enabled us to be able to lift the parts and then put chassis wheels underneath. And it was from this we were able to move the parts to get out of the very tight aperture that we got in the memorial building back wall and into the new Tex building. The exhibition space is located in much closer proximity to the new terminal expansion. The design for the space was really about engaging the casual visitor and the passionate visitor and allowing both to really get a sense of the aircraft. Specifically designed, it's been based around museum um, design principles to ensure that the conservation of the aircraft is maintained, but also allowing the visitor to come around to the mezzanine, the rear three-quarter view um, and see the Vimy from above, which is something that no one else has ever been able to achieve with the Vimy before. The new exhibition space is a super controlled lighting environment compared to the old memorial building. As technology has changed over the years, we've kind of recognised that the UV exposure can cause significant damage over time. So the new exhibition space is essentially a UV free environment. There's lighting in there enough to enjoy the Vimy, but certainly not a natural light that's going to damage the fabrics. And you'll see in the exhibition space that we do have various AV elements. Some of those are projectors which project out the story and some historic footage that was taken during the epic journey. We have some more historic interviews from Wally Shears and also around the exhibition area we have interactive AV content. There's just so much to enjoy here now and it really brings the Vickers Vimy to life. This aircraft is incredible in its own right but mostly for the story and the history that it represents. In 1919 it flew halfway around the world. It flew four times further than any aircraft had ever done before and they were South Australians at the helm. And so being custodian of the aircraft is also being custodian of that history. The best thing about when you watch people watching this aircraft is you look at them put themselves in the eyes of someone who might have seen this land in Adelaide for the first time. Back in 1919, no one had ever seen an aircraft before. It made people think that maybe anything is possible. Without the teamwork that we had, we wouldn't be able to have the aircraft the way we have it today and have it open to everybody. Everyone that's been involved in this project has brought absolute expertise and professionalism to it. And we couldn't have done this without having everyone's involvement. Certainly the journey just to go from a car park over here was epic in its own right.